for the more common diseases that we've seen. Our first attempt, therapeutic attempt is to simply stabilize vision and prevent deterioration. And that's still, you know, sort of our number one goal when we're looking at these various agents. The thing that was unique about the RPE65 trial is that not only did we prevent loss, we improved the situation. Now, we didn't improve it all the way back to normal, uh, but we improved it dramatically. The light sensitivity detection based on the FST test would suggest that we've improved light detection by more than a hundredfold. So that's pretty significant improvement. Now, we don't expect those kinds of improvements with every gene therapy intervention going forward. We will you know, we have to be realistic about what we can expect, and we want both patients and treaters to be, you know, um, uh, realistic, and to, in order to balance the risks and benefits of an intervention. But nevertheless, um, there, it's 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 encouraging that at least in the first gene therapy trial we saw improvement not just stabilization and so we will have to see it'll be a gene by gene you know guerrilla warfare as we try to figure out how to do these treatments uh, as to what will be a reasonable expectation well in ophthalmology it's already having an influence we have uh, so many gene therapy trials ongoing that I can't keep track of them all. Um, and I'm, in, I'm involved in like five or six of them currently, but uh, it's, it's, just an, it's just an explosion that's occurring in terms of uh, the der various different genes that are being targeted and the, me the, the, the ways in which they're being targeted. So, uh, because there, there's more than one way the, the, the gene therapy trial that we're talking about here was augmenting the gene, putting in a functional copy where no functional copy existed in the cells before. That's, a, that's kind of the, what I consider sort of the true gene therapy. Uh, but then there are all kinds of manipulations where you might be able to affect the, uh, the way that DNA is uh, uh, pro the processed into RNA, how the RNA processing might occur. So there are a number of other ways in which gene therapy intervention may occur without simply putting in a gene product.